Hello and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Destiny, The House of Wolves. I am the Decepticon Gamer, and now we're going to head into the new social space that was added for House of Wolves, which is the Vestian Outpost in the Reef. Uh, this is the second expansion to the game, uh, which did, did some different stuff. I, I thought it was pretty cool. The... Um, I mean, again, it's just like, you know, it's more story missions. You know, there, there wasn't a raid with this one. Instead, there was something that was uh, completely different, which I'm a fan of uh, because it was it was a matchmaking style uh, kind of like wave based combat deal uh, known as the Prison of Elders. But we'll get to that much later. Uh, I can at least play through that. Nope, guess not. Okay, it just goes straight in there. Alright, cool. So, here we are in the Vestian Outpost, outpost in the Reef. Um, since they didn't, I don't know that it, it didn't actually establish anything, um, basically the setup for House of Wolves is... I feel like there was maybe a like an intro into this, but maybe not. Um... But anyway, the the main the main deal with with this setup is as you may have may have remembered from the vanilla version of the game the fall or the awoken queen had fallen under her, you know, that she imp employed as like bodyguards or whatever. Uh, she had like an arrangement with them and they were the House of Wolves. Well, they betrayed her and just kind of went off and to do their their own thing here. Uh, following the uh, a Kel known as Skolas. And so he he's kind of the, he's kind of the big bad of the um, of this expansion. But now, so yeah, it, that uh, basically summed up what I had just said. <clears throat> so yeah, with um, with the Awoken, they they went ahead and uh, uh, they've they've tasked the Guardians with. Sorry, I'm try, I'm trying to pay attention to the to the dialogue there too. Um, ow, ow. That was painful. I could have grabbed one of those heavy pikes, but uh, I don't feel like it. No, oh, I forgot. I, I forgot I had a scout rifle. I was thinking I had an auto rifle on this set, but I think I, I think I got one later on. Anyway, so yeah, the, with with this expansion again, where it's a fallen related one, so we'll we'll be seeing lots of them. Oh, hello, Fallen Walker. Oh, yeah, I guess that would probably would have been easier to... I haven't fought one of those, one of these walkers in a very long time. Oh, hey, there's more pikes over here. Zoop. Yeah, I know. I know there were. I know there were pikes before, but I don't know if, if uh, the heavy pikes were actually a thing before House of Wolves. I don't. Know. I, I I feel like I keep losing my completely losing my train of thought. Um, Aha. 
Okay. Uh, I almost killed this walker, so it shouldn't shouldn't take too much longer. There we go. But yeah, like uh, as, uh, I think on on Venus before there were there were points when you could, which is I think was where we're at. Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't need that pike anymore. But um. Yeah, like I said, I don't think you could ride the heavy pikes. You might have run into a heavy pike, but I don't know if you could... Yeah, I don't remember for sure if you could have utilized one before. I could be I could be mistaken. Because I, as far as I remember, they they peppered them through the the game after that. Maybe, maybe there was that one mission where you could have access to them, but that might have only been just the standard ones. Yeah. All right. Hey, look a blue. I got a blue thing. I love getting new engrams. At the point when a blue is still worthwhile. Hey, look at Skolos. And he ran away. Barracks, get on the calls. What did he say? Yes, yes. In your tongue, he said, the wolves stand strong, cower before the kill of Kells. Kell of Kells? Did he give himself a promotion? A fallen legend. He sees himself as a prophet, perhaps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those, uh, shank... I think this was the one that added a bunch of new shank types, too. Yeah, like, uh... The exploder shanks, the... Uh, I think those were the sniper shanks. I missed what it said. I like how they, like, charge me, and then all of a sudden they're like... Oh, never mind. I'm going to turn around and run away. Oh, Tracer Shanks. I think the other ones were slightly... They were something different, but... Um, but again, I, I think it's, it's cool that you know, there's new there's new versions. The Exploder ones can be a real pain. Um, I think these were also new... At this point. As far as I remember. But uh, yeah, if you if you go inside those, then it you get uh, where you're slowed, so your movement speed and everything goes down. Oops! Hiya! All right. But uh, yeah, it, uh, in the standard, like vanilla, vanilla Destiny, there was also a, a point. Wait, how'd you get all your health back? I, I I shot you for a bunch of damage. I burned the ship. Uh, but the the prison of elders that he's escaped from. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um. The, the Prison of Elders was mentioned before. Uh, there was a... It wasn't a Kel. It was uh, an Archon Priest. There's the strike where you fight the Archon Priest at the end. Um, that's also Prison of Elders. So it, that's that's related to the Reef. Come back. I need to shoot you in the face. All right, and then these are also something new. There are these scorch cannons, which are pretty, which are a pretty cool weapon. Not only is it, uh, it's not quite as powerful as the rocket launchers you carry, but they do have a secondary fire, which is pretty awesome. If you hold down the button after you've fired it, 
then you can charge it up and then and then it causes a, a giant explosion. Very useful for taking out things like uh, like shielded captains and whatnot. Oops, I missed. Where, no, I want to I want to shoot a captain. There, there you are. Oops. Probably don't need that much charge on him. He's not even a yellow, so. Could it, it would be useful for you. Whoops. How did I, why did I manage to miss three, two of my three shots? Wow. I am so... I am such an amazing sniper. Oh, wow. They went up there. <gasps> there more? Are there more? I don't remember if there's more. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Right, there, there comes some more. There's some more enemies for me to kill. But yeah, like I said, man, the, those those exploder exploder shanks. Uh, there, there's some stuff that's that been added into um, uh, the newest expansion, the other Rise of Iron. Which be a while before we get there, but. Uh, Uh, yeah, th those those can be kind of be a little devastating. Wow, feels like such a waste to shoot a dreg with with one of those. Such a waste. But hey, I would have lost it otherwise. It wasn't loaded. Ugh. Ooh, man, there are a lot of enemies, and I am stuck in a hole here. <laughs> Good thing you were not a yellow, and you were just a red. Not you, though. Just non-stop with these guys. Non-stop. Oh, there was repeaters. Repeaters were the other ones. Come on, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, nice shot by me. We okay, cool. All right, so that was our first mission of the House of Wolves. But yeah, that, okay. So yeah, that's essentially the thing is he's uh, Skolas being the the like last of the Kells ha is uh, gathering up all the other fallen houses to unite under a single banner. Basically, that would be bad for everyone. Oh boy, what did I get? Oh, that's actually not too bad. I don't know how those... Yeah, those aren't better than what I have, but... It's getting closer to my, uh, my maximum, or what I'm at right now. Okay, so let's pop back to the reef. Okay, so now we are back here. Let's go grab a new our next mission from Petra. We found Skolos once. We can do it again. 
We just need to identify his next. Oh, hey, cool. I got an emblem. Sweet. Okay. And all right. So then, uh, just uh, before we end the episode here, just a little quick introduction to the things here in the in the reef. Um, Postmasters over here, along with uh, vault access and bounties, which I should probably grab some of those. Need to get those levels up. Void, super, grenade, vex, hive, and Venus. Uh, and then we have the Eververse, which um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned the Eververse before. Um, essentially, that's uh, microtransactions. You can buy like cosmetic stuff. And then we have Varix here, where he he's kind of the 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 one who's still loyal to the Awoken. Uh, he comes into play with ho the House of Judgment, which is related to the Prison of Elders. So he's kind of the overseer of that. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, boy, a mode of flight. Let's see, if we have anything decent here? 152. Oh, let's get rid of this hand cannon. I don't even like hand cannons anyway. Okay, what do we got here? 160, 120. Well, that fusion rifle is way better, so let's get rid of that. That, wow. 157. Ooh, 167. I think I'd rather keep the rocket launcher for now. I'm definitely a bigger fan of rocket launchers. Sure, let's change that up. Why not? All right, and what do we have for these? Oh, hey, cool. A helmet that's better. Those gauntlets are not better. Let's junk those. 55, 55. Okay. I'd rather keep a blue than a green. 63, 55. Um... Oh yeah, before I started, I went. I popped back to the tower, and um, there were a couple things that gave me a Vanguard rank up, so I got some some armor that I can't actually use because I'm not level 40 yet, so stuff will come in handy much later on. Um, anyway, okay, so I think that that's... Oh, and um, yeah, but there's, there's the Cryptarch for the Reef, um, and then the stuff over here, we have... Uh, this is for Trials of Osiris, which is a team-based thing that's abandoned quest, which is the same kind of thing you can access from the Vanguard area in the tower. Um, and I think the only other spot of note is over here where, hey, look at Zerf. Do I have any strange coins? Maybe I can buy something. What does he have this week? I don't have very many strange coins, but... Uh, but up, but up, but oh, yeah, level 40. Wouldn't mind having a truth, though. Truth is not a bad rocket launcher. Uh, it did get um, nerfed a bit. But hey, you know what? I'll take it. If I had more strange coins, I would buy the helmet as well, but only had like 22. So. Anyway, okay, I think that is probably good for now. So, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Destiny, the House of Wolves. I have been the Decepticon Gamer, and we will catch you next time. Bye now.